What's happening, Tech Timers? This is Andre of Andre's Tech Time and Product Reviews, where I review cool tech and everyday products that will make your lives just a little bit easier. And today, I'm coming to you live with no jive as I review the brand new Umidigi A11 smartphone. Can you dig it? Okay, Tech Timers, so before I get down to the nitty gritty, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, or ring the bell all below. And please share if you care. Okay, today, brand new cell phone, Umidigi A11. This is probably not only the phone of your dreams, it's beyond dreams. Well, let's take a look and see what's going on. That's the box, side, Another side, and that's the A11. Now should be able to make that out right there. Another side, top of the box. There are the specs, don't worry, we're gonna go through everything here. Let's crack this open. This looks like it's going to be a job for the Tech Time tool. Let's get to work. Yowza! That's one. Yowza! That's another one. All right, let's get this out. Good job for the Tech Time tool as usual. And there we go. Let's take a look. I'm gonna put that right there for a moment. Get everything out of the box. Box. There you go. Okay. Charger. Charging cable, USB-C, that's the key, the ejector, SIM tray ejector, instruction manual, and the phone itself, let's see. Ooh, okay, man. This thing is solid. Let's get this off. And now it does have a screen protector already applied. Let me just remove this and put that over there. It comes with a case. Let's take the case off. Clear case. Let's take this off to pull the plastic off the back. And there it is. That's not bad. And this is solid. Let's take a look at the top. Side, and of course I'm gonna go over absolutely everything. But y'all know what I like to do. When I get something that needs to be charged up, I'm gonna charge it up for quite a few hours because I don't know how long it's been sitting in the uh, Amazon warehouse. Check that out, Beyond Dreams, that looks nice. This is the, uh, I, I think it's called um, Space Gray, but I gotta double check. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this um, all charged up and we will see if this can stand up to the competition. Well, it's supposed to stand, but we'll get it to stand later. Okay. Maybe this way. Okay, we'll get it to stand up later, but y'all know what's next. The specs. So let's go through the Umidigi A11 specs. The operating system is Android 11. The screen size are the screen specifics, 6.53 inches. That's a 20 to nine uh, aspect. It's a cinema grade display. It's made out of AG matte glass. 1600 by 720 is the resolution and that is HD plus. The processor is the MediaTek Helio G25 octa-core. So that's eight two gigahertz uh, cores. 
And that G stands for gaming. So it's a gaming chip, a gaming processor. The GPU is the IMG Power VR GE8320 at 650 megahertz. That's not the newest GPU out there, but it's still more than capable. I think I have that same uh, GPU on my Umidigi F1, the first Umidigi phone that I purchased. Uh, the memory is four gigs of DDR4. Um, storage is 128 uh, gigabytes. And the video encoding and playback, there's your codex. And it can do 1080p at 30 frames per second. Let's talk about the cameras, the rear. This is a triple camera, 16 megapixels, uh, 8 megapixels, and 5 mex uh, megapixels with a dual LED flash. The front is 8 megapixels, and it has the AI Beautify face recognition and selfie countdown. The battery is a massive 5,150 milliamps per hour, and it charges via USB-C, and it has a 10 watt fast charger. It has a side-mounted fingerprint sensor, and of course, we're gonna go over all of these. Uh, it has a dedicated button, which is customizable. There are three modes. It has a two plus one card slot, so it has a dual nano SIM, supports dual voice over LTE and video over LTE, plus the micro SD card, which can accept up to 250 gigabytes. Uh, Bluetooth 5.0 and HID. Navigation and positioning. It has GPS, GLONASS, and Galileo. Audio jack, of course, 3.5 millimeters. The colors, frost gray, which is what I have, and mist blue. It's OTG enabled. It has a metal frame, and here is the kicker. It has a built-in infrared thermometer 2.0 sensor, which is important in these days of COVID-19. So Umidigi A11, go ahead with your bad self. Now that we got this out of the way, let's get down to the get down. Okay, tech timers, so I've got the A11 all charged up. And actually, it's been a couple of days since I charged it up, haven't turned it on yet, I've just been really busy. But let's see how I got here. Two years ago, I purchased the Umidigi F1. This is still a very powerful phone, despite the fact that it's just, just about two years old. Um, and I still use it. This is the phone I've been using lately to record videos and what have you. Last year I purchased the A7 Pro. Y'all have seen the uh, review on that. I'll leave it above and below. And now I've got the, uh, that runs Android 10. Now I've got the A11, which runs Android 11. So I think y'all see the pattern here. Android 9, Android 10, Android 11. So. The difference in the size, I'm hitting the top there. Um, it's just a little bit taller with the A7. I don't know if you can see that. So it's taller and just a little bit wider. And the A11 is, you can probably see that. Definitely taller. Let's see if I can get a really, really good comparison here. Um, maybe y'all can see that. That's so. So it's a taller. Um, these two are six point uh, three inches. This is six point five three. So let's get these out of the way. This is the front of the phone. Let me get rid of this glare. Okay, that's the front of the phone. There's your camera, the side, power button, and volume control. And on the rear, Beyond Dreams, Umidigi. There's your camera setup. Zoom in a little bit. We've got 16 megapixels. 8 megapixels, 5 megapixels, and we have the dual flash, uh, dual LED flash. However, this one is your infrared thermometer sensor. And of course, we're going to check that out. On the top, that's your headphone jack. On the 
bottom. That's your speaker. That's the USB-C port. I'm sorry, that's the microphone. That's the speaker, USB-C. And of course it comes with a screen protector. I don't know if you all can see that, where it was applied, just right there. Screen protector, and of course, a case, just like every other Digi. But one thing I really like about this, that button. Okay, let's take the case off. That's your programmable button. So you could program it for three different functions. And of course, that's the SIM tray. Let me get the ejector and put that in. Okay, come out. It's popping out there. Let me just try that. Okay. So dual SIM, and of course, you also have for your memory card, your micro SD. So let's put that back in, and I'm gonna put it back in the case, right here. And this is gonna be the very first time that it's being turned on. And then there's a little buzz, Umidigi, powered by Android. Once again, this is running Android 11, and Android 11 is a little bit of a different animal. And let's see how it looks when it's booting up. I understand that there are some big differences in Android 11, so I'm gonna have to relearn this phone. And once I get it all set up, I will um, you know, go through all of the settings. Hi there. So let me go ahead and get it set up, and I'll come back to you. Okay, Tech Timers, so I am back. And the reason why I say I'm back is because when I started this video, it was July 29th. Today is August 27th. So I've had this phone for almost a month and I've been pretty busy. Sorry I haven't gotten any videos out, but I am back. And so I'll get to work on some more videos, but I think this kind of works out because I can give you all a full review uh, of my impressions of using this incredible phone over the last month. So right out of the box, when you get it, it has lift to wake. I'm not too crazy about that. So let me just go ahead and put my pen number in. I'm gonna take care of that in just a moment. But I think I had mentioned earlier when I first started the video that you're not able to swipe up. You can swipe you know, across, left and right but you're not able to swipe up, not a problem. Hold the finger down on the screen, go into home settings, uh, launcher style, it's set for home screen. Click on default, let's go back home. There you go. I really prefer that, that setting right there. So um, also when scrolling down from the top, I noticed that the location wasn't here. What I was doing when I first got the phone was going into settings, turning on location. I don't like that, so what I did is scroll down from the top, click on the little pencil, and if you scroll up, you'll see a bunch of icons that aren't used at the, at the moment up there, and you can just hold it down and drag it up, I'll put it right next to, yeah, I'll put it right there. So now when I scroll down from the top, scroll across, there's my location. So I like that. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and turn off the lift to wake. I'm gonna go into display, advanced, lift to wake. There it is, it was on. Now it's off. So this way when I pick up the phone, it doesn't turn on. Speaking of turning on, that's the power button right there. It also doubles as your fingerprint reader. So let me try and get this. I'm just gonna lay my finger on it. And you can see it turns right on. 
and let me just do that one more time as you can see but now there's a press as you can see the difference i'm just kind of laying my finger right there it turns on i don't know why the fingerprint uh scanner is where the um on and off button is but that's the way they did it you know i don't care for it i'm not going to be using the fingerprint scanner so um this is the programmable button and i'll show you how that works if i go into settings and i look for smart key right there single click open thermometer i can choose whatever it needs whatever i need right here double click i have it set for the flashlight and then for a long press i have it set for start recording so let's see how that works so i'm going to press the button the thermometer will come on it is set for fahrenheit how that works is i'm just going to as you as i mentioned earlier the scanner is there i'm going to kind of just i don't have to lay it down against my skin but you know maybe half an inch away i'm going to click on measure and you can see 97.3 degrees there's an ice pack right now i have it set on people i'm going to put it on object i'm going to kind of get it really close and i'm going to press measure there you go 39.2 degrees so you can measure you know people you can measure objects that's pretty cool so let's get rid of this and let's get rid of that uh, let's just put that off to the side right here. Try not to knock over the camera. Okay, so that was a single press. If I double press, you see the flashlight is on. If I double press again, let me just give it a good, let me get rid of this, give it a good press. You can see it turns it off. And one, two, turns it on. And let's turn it off again. I'm not pressing it fast enough. Okay, so if I hold it down, There's my sound recorder. So that's how I have it set. As you saw, you can program it for other uh, functions. The phone is very, very bright. There's dark, there's bright. It's very responsive. I really don't, I really haven't had any problems with it stuttering at all. The connection speed is very well. I've been using this, like I said, for about a month now, almost a month, you know, just a couple of days short. And the call quality is excellent. And even when I use my, my earbuds, um, those are my Umidigi uh, uh, U-Pods. Uh, I'm sorry, these are, the Air, these are the Airbuds U or something like that. I forgot what they're called. But I'll leave a link above and below in the description for these. These are pretty good. I really like those. So anyway, sounds good whether I'm using it as a phone or listening to music. And let's do this. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to YouTube. Let's just make sure I'm on. Yep, I'm on. Let's go to YouTube. I'm gonna pull up one of my videos so we can hear the sound quality. Give me a moment here. I'll look for one of my videos. And let's see. So I'm going to crank it all the way up. And let's see. Responsive. Um, just a little bit louder. The keys are just a little bit louder than, than my MacBook Pro, which is near silent. But not bad at all. Not so as you can see, it's pretty loud. Let, let, let me get a, a sound meter reading. I'm grabbing my, let's see, this is going to be the A11, the Umidigi A11. I'll leave a link for that above and below as well in the description. And let's see, sound meter. Okay, tech timers. So I actually had to download it to this phone. I thought I had it, but let's let's check out how loud this gets. Speakers on the bottom right there. Nice, big, responsive trackpad. That's not glass, it's plastic, of course. As a matter of fact, the computer's made out of a little bit of plastic. Well, actually a lot of plastic, it's all plastic. There's a little bit of... So as you can see, it does get pretty loud. And it's actually very clear um, when playing music. And I, I guess you could hear the music in the background there. So the quality is actually really good. The phone itself is very substantial and it feels good in the hand. 
I think it's built very, very well. But what I had mentioned is that this is kind of, this uh, A11 has kind of like an entry level um, gaming processor. It's a MediaTek, I think it's the G25. So I'm not a gamer by any stretch of the imagination, I'm just not. I did install PUBG and I don't know anything about PUBG. It's just that when I've seen other people review phones, they usually install PUBG. It, this phone will run PUBG. However, um, for the two to three minutes that I had it on, it wanted me to download a whole bunch of additional stuff. And I said, you know what? I'm only going to download the game for this video. So I didn't bother, but what I did, um, let me see, where is, uh, I did download a game. So I, I downloaded uh, Sonic Dash. This didn't require as much. So let's see. And like I said, I'm not a gamer. So let's see, what, what do I do here? Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. You hear that music playing? Actually, let me turn it down because it's pretty loud. It does get very loud. But as you can see, you know, it's, it's playing without any hiccups. You know, it's giving me instructions on how to play the game. Roll, oh, roll that way. And it looks pretty good. You know, I don't know if this video is doing it justice, but the colors are vibrant and it just plays. Tap to attack, okay. So that's Sonic Dash. No dropouts, no anything. I mean, it just, okay, press button to, oh, press button to dash. Okay, so there it is. So it, it, it works very well, I think, with, with games. Yeah, as you can see, there's, there's no stuttering. There are no hiccups at all. So, plays video, I just showed you a, a YouTube video. Um, I've, I've watched some Netflix on it. I think it does very well with Netflix. Um, Amazon Prime, I've watched some stuff there. I watched, of course, some soccer, because you all know I love soccer. You know, Phoenix Rising, that's my team. Well, one of my teams, but they're probably my favorite team. But anyway, so I've watched a couple of soccer games just, just you know, to try it out. Works very, very well, uh, very, very well. Um, once again, qual call quality is very, very good on this phone. And one of the things I had mentioned is about, I wanted to know if this phone was actually going to stand up to the competition. Well, I can honestly say that it does. Okay, Tech Timers, so here are a couple of pictures that I took using the Yumidigi A11. I haven't, I did not make any changes in any of the settings whatsoever. It was just simple point and click. You can see of this building, um, it is, uh, you know, the color is good, sharpness is pretty good. You know, like I said, I didn't do anything with the settings at all. Here's one I took of a bush. Um, I don't know what that's called, but you can see, you know, pretty detailed. Um, I don't see much uh, washing out going on so it doesn't look bad at all it takes pretty good pictures I didn't take a bunch of pictures I'm not a, much of a picture taker except for when you know on vacation um, here's a video that I shot of the old backyard um, and it's trying to autofocus like I said I didn't make any uh, changes all I did was point and shoot but once it's focused you can see you know pretty pretty clear um, takes very good video, I think so. Um, I don't really do this a lot outside, but but as you can see, it does a pretty good job of shooting pictures and videos. Okay, Tech Timer, so I kind of wanted this to be a quick and dirty video, so I'm gonna wrap this up right now. So therefore, y'all know what time it is. It is time for Andre's Tech Time and Product Reviews rating system. If I like a product, right on. If I really like a product, groovy man. If I don't like a product, right off. And if I really don't like it, it's going to be a jive turkey. Well, the Yuma Digi A11 
is a pleasure to use. I haven't had any problems with it. I really, really, really like this phone. It's perhaps the best Yumadigi phone that I own. Um, it actually has some very good scores. I did a benchmark and I'm sorry I didn't show that, but it scored very, very well. So very fast phone, very responsive, um, excellent call quality, battery life. Oh man, it's, I'm getting about four days out of a single charge and that's with normal usage. So all around, just a very good phone, especially if, if you like uh, playing games. So therefore, groovy man. However, as much as I like this Yumadigi A11, I'm gonna send it back to Amazon. Okay, <laughs> what are you talking about? You love this phone. Actually, I do. But during the second week that I owned this, Yumadigi had the audacity to release the Yumadigi A11 Pro Max. This has the G25 processor, the uh, A11 Pro Max has the G80 processor, better for gaming. I'm not a gamer, but I love, you know, faster processors. Uh, it's gonna have the same storage, 128 gigs, but it's gonna have more RAM. Uh, that's your memory. It's gonna have eight gigs, so twice the RAM as this. Not only that, the size of that phone is gonna make this one look puny this is 6.53. The A11 Pro Max is going to be 6.8 inches. For me, phones, the bigger, the better. So that's why this is going back. Don't be surprised if I do pick one up. And even if I don't, my A7 Pro is still a very good phone. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that it's running last year's operating system, our previous operating system. But anyway, um, I, oh, I do want to mention to y'all, I'm no longer doing uh, the Amazon associate program. I don't think Amazon and I were on the same page, so I decided to do away with that. And I just want to thank y'all for hanging out here with me on Andre's Tech Time and Product Reviews. That concludes my review. Keep in mind that with all of my reviews, all of the opinions expressed are my own. I don't get paid to do this and I purchase all of the products with my own money. Enough said, keep on trucking and I will catch you on the flip side of my next video. Now can you dig that?